Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the iPad OS 14 hidden features. Uh, so the iPad OS 14 is home to many hidden features. Uh, so in this video, I'm just going to be showing you all of the hidden features. So to start off, this update is 4.06 gigabytes in size. So that means that there's going to be a lot of hidden features. Now, there is a lot of similarities between iOS 14 and iPadOS 14. So I'm also going to leave a link to my hidden features for the iOS 14 video. So now with that out of the way, you can get into the main reason why you're watching this video. So to start off, the widgets. The widgets are the newest addition uh, to the actual uh, iPad OS 14. So here at the side, we have the widgets. So there's only two things that we can do with the widgets. We can only have them like this. So this is just the uh, today's view enabled and then this. So that's the today's view not enabled. So that's the only thing we can do with the widgets. Now, in terms of just going uh, and taking a closer look at these particular widgets, we can't move any of these widgets to the home screen. That's just the way Apple set it up. Now, I'm kind of surprised that that happened because I thought uh, Apple would actually allow us to move it to the home screen, but I guess they chose not to. Now, a hidden feature in iPadOS 14 is the fact that we can put a widget on top of another. So let's say, for example, this one. Uh, so we can just put it on top and then we'll form a super widget. And then what we can do once we hit done is that we can just swipe in between these two widgets. So originally it was the battery widget and then the how to widget. So now you can see that both of them are combined. So uh, that's really interesting that we have that ability. And that's just a very convenient function. You can easily press on the plus sign to have more widgets. Now, another hidden feature is, let's say, for example, we take a look at the uh, calendar widget. So what you can see is there's different sizes for widgets. So it's not only just this one size, uh, there's just a lot of different sizes that we can have for particular widgets. Uh, and that's just also another great feature. Now, another hidden feature is the improvements that have been made to search. So search is home to a lot of great uh, Siri suggestions and uh, videos and see what's happening. So it just analyzes how you use your iPad and gives you the most relevant content at the time. Uh, let's say, for example, we search for Apple. And when we search for Apple, you're going to see that we have a variety of options for Apple. So you're going to see that we have uh, the Apple store. We can just search. We have uh, the Apple website, apple.com. Uh, we have some other information there. And then we have the ability to search for Apple, Apple event, Apple watch. And then what we can do is just simply scroll down as we have the ability to actually search in apps right here. So we can search in the notes app. We can search in the files app. We can search in the uh, mail app. We can search in the messages app. So you can see that it has uh, that convenient feature uh, everywhere. So it's very much so a universal search. Uh, it's getting to the point where you can just filter certain things in the search. And it's just a really good uh, underrated feature of iPad OS 14, I must say. I definitely wasn't expecting this, but I'm just glad that Apple chose to make some improvements to this. One of the major features that Apple continued to mention within the WWDC keynote would have to be the sidebar. So the sidebar is everywhere. So the sidebar is just this prevalent uh, column right here uh, and with it you can just have all the functions in an app so it's automatically enabled now in previous iterations of iPad OS uh, I remember that the sidebar wasn't always present it probably looked like this and then you would have to hit that sidebar button uh, so they definitely refined the sidebar and made it a lot better and it's also present in apps like the notes uh, and photos as well now another feature that not a lot of people are talking about that is hidden is the overall music app so Apple made a way to make the music app a lot better in iPadOS 14, and I don't think a lot of people are realizing it just yet. So the music app went through uh, a lot of changes and the algorithms are getting a lot better. And Apple has made some strategic acquisitions of companies in order to make their Apple Music app better and even more of a competitor to Spotify. So we can see that we have the sidebar again right here. So in that sidebar, we have the listen now, we have the browse, we have the radio, and then we have the recently added artist albums. And then we have our playlist and then we have the ability to just tap on this and then it will just hide your library and then you can tap on it again. Now, if we go to listen now, now going into listen now, you can see that you have a curated playlist for music that's made for you and they just uh, know your music uh, tendencies and, and they just create an algorithm for it. So it's a lot like Spotify and there are more stations that are being created and you can see what music you've recently played. You can also go into the browse 
and get to see uh, what's going on for the music today. Then you have the radio function once again. Uh, so you have the radio there, you have the search. Now the main feature in music is when you finally start uh, going to the Listen Now page. Uh, so all you can do is just simply and swipe down from it. So you just simply tap on it and now it shows all the lyrics and has this full screen immersive canvas view that is my favorite part of uh, iPad OS. Now I just like it overall because you can see the lyrics playing and it just looks very immersive and it uses the iPad screen real estate to its full advantage. We can use the dark mode in the iPad and you can just use the dark mode uh, for the music app and it looks even better than it did before. Now we can access Siri so we can just say hey Siri and now you're going to see that Siri will be right in the bottom here uh, and you can just uh, turn our attention to it and you just see that Siri is just moving uh, right at the bottom as I speak so you can just see that Siri is just moving and now it's in the bottom right instead of taking up the whole screen so that's definitely a feature I really like about it uh, and it's just very convenient now I must say uh, just overall the Siri experience has just gotten a lot better uh, so that's why I really uh, like that Apple went on to redesign it so Siri is just as smart and they had some more features for Siri as well. Uh, so we could just say, hey Siri, what is the weather like in Paris? It's currently clear and 28 degrees in Paris, France. Temperatures are heading down from 29 degrees to 27 tonight. So you can see how convenient it is right in the bottom right corner on your iPad and it's just not taking up the whole screen and you just can see that just fades just once it's done. Now we also do have the call UI that has changed uh, so it doesn't take up the full screen. It's just a small notification right here. Uh, so that's definitely good as well. Now what we can do is just go into Safari now going into Safari, what we can do is just go into the Apple website and then we can turn our attention to the top right here and then we can just tap on the two A's. So once you do that, you're going to see that we have the option to look at the tracking report. Now this tracking report is a new addition in iPadOS 14 and it tells you all about the websites that uh, potentially are tracking your activities. So it says for known trackers, 27 have been prevented and then for the websites uh, with contacted trackers, 50% uh, and then it just said most contacted tracker is taboola.com and it's blocked across one website and we can see that websites weather.com was the most uh, that had the uh, trackers contacted. So it had 27 so we could tap on it and then you can see some more information about the prevented trackers uh, so you can see it's all of these ads and everything like the pages that I was on there and then we also have the option to take a look at the trackers as well. Now the new feature in iPadOS 14 would have to be the scribble mode for the Apple Pencil. So what I can do is just type anything at the top uh, in a handwritten note. So I could just say, So I could just say Apple iPhone apps and then it's going to automatically uh, search for that. So it was able to convert my handwritten note into text. So that's very convenient. Now I can also go into the notes app and I can make a shape. So let's say for example, a triangle. And then what I can do is just wait three seconds at the end and then it will eventually smooth out that triangle. So I can try it again. I wait three seconds and now I can see that the triangle would be perfect. So you can do it again and we can do it with different shapes. So you can see this triangle is what the other triangles were supposed to be like. And we can do it with a circle as well. And we wait three seconds at the end and now we have a perfect circle. You can do it with a square as well. And now I can see uh, it changed. So you can see that we have that option. So it's really good to have that uh, with the Apple Pencil. Now what we can do is also uh, write some text. So I can just write please subscribe. So let's say for example I just select the please in yellow. Then what I can do is just simply move it around and then I have another option and then I can have the option to copy that as text and now what I can do is just go into let's say for example Chrome and then I can just simply tap and then I could paste the copy text. And now you can see it will say please right here. So that's the same uh, text that I just copied. Now if we go into settings, you can see that there's some new features. So the first new feature is the tracking. Uh, so we could choose to allow apps to request track. Uh, so we have that option. 
and it gives the ability to allow apps to ask to use an identifier that can be used to combine your activity across apps. So this will give you a tracking report and then it can interpolate that data. Uh, so that's essentially what the privacy tracking allows you to do. Uh, and now we also have the local network and that local network uh, allows you to have apps that have requested permission to find and communicate with your devices based on your local network. Uh, so that will all appear right there. So those are the two new privacy settings. So those are all the hidden features on iPad OS 14. Please be sure to subscribe to this video. Please smash the like button down below so know you watched. Also be sure to check out my other videos on my channel as I have a lot of coverage of iOS 14 and iPad OS 14 and a whole lot more. Also be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And be sure to subscribe for more great content. And thanks for watching.